Are you ready? I can't hear you. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Now you pick creates experiences that let you predict you compete. This video is designed for you to challenge yourself or to play against your friends and family. Your participation is encouraged. Welcome to Now You Pick. I'm Kyle, and this is Animal Trivia. That's right, we have trivia today for you, and more specifically, all about animals. Those beloved creatures that occupy planet Earth with us. Now, sometimes we eat them, other times they eat us. But either way, they are fascinating. So 10 questions all about animals. As you can see on the scorecard on the screen right now, you do not want to be a Zippo Hippo. You get zero out of 10, you become a Zippo Hippo. What you really want to shoot for is that perfect 10, a unicorn, AKA the perfect uni. Can you do it? Can it be done? Let's watch and find out. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the only mammal that can fly? Is it a porcupine, polar bear, anteater, or bat? The correct answer is bat. Now let's slow down just for a little bit. Can you imagine a flying polar bear or even worse, a flying porcupine? I, I'm gonna have some bad dreams tonight, folks. All right, let's move on to question number two. In the Lion King franchise, what kind of animal is Pumba? Is he a puma, a llama, a sheep, or a warthog? The correct answer is Warthog. Now, I grew up in the 90s, so I am very fond of the animated Lion King movie, one of my all-time favorite Disney films. The remake pretty recently, the CGI one, it was still pretty good, but that original cartoon one always has a warm place in my heart. Awesome stuff. All right, question number three. Piranhas are native to one continent. Which one? South America? North America? Asia or Africa? If you said North America, you'd be wrong. A little off, but still technically wrong. The correct answer is South America. You can find piranhas all across the Amazon basin. And in fact, you might have heard growing up that piranhas are these ferocious killers that'll just chew your flesh off all the way to the bone. Well, typically that doesn't happen. And in fact, there are many species of piranhas that are omnivores, meaning they eat both meat and vegetation. And there are actually some species that only eat vegetation. So only plant-like material. So, you know, piranhas are, are really cool, but they're probably not going to kill you. All right, let's move on to the next question. Which of the following is considered to be the only social big cat in the wild. Jaguar, tiger, lion, caracal. Lion. It's all about the lion. That is the backbone of this YouTube channel and that is the answer to this question. Lions live in a pride. They are social cats. And that's very unusual in the animal kingdom for felines. Typically you have a, a big cat like a puma, a jaguar, a tiger. They roam the wilderness by themselves. They are very solitary creatures. Really only lions and domesticated house cats like to live amongst other cats. Now let's move on to question number five. All right, it is Wednesday, so this is a very appropriate question. Unless you're not watching this video on a Wednesday, then what I just said means absolutely nothing. How many humps does a Bactrian camel have? One, two, three, or seven? Two. 
a Bactrian camel has two humps. A seven hump camel, <laughs> that, that scares me almost as much as a flying polar bear. All right, that is five questions. We are at the midway point of this video, of this competition. So why don't we do something extra special here? Let's take a quick break. You know what, how would you like to see me dunk a basketball? Pretty cool, right? Well, let's roll that footage. Wow, was that impressive or what? Yeah, that was really me too. I, I know, it's, it's kind of hard to believe. All right, we're back. We have five more questions here. Let's move on to question number six. What causes flamingos to turn pink? Diet? Sunshine, disease, or poachers? The correct answer is diet. It's all about the food and what these wonderful birds eat. More specifically, it is the beta carotene that's often found in the shrimp and algae that flamingos usually eat. And what's crazy about these birds are flamingos, they actually are born gray. They're born a shade of gray and because of their diet, they turn pink, which is fascinating. Now don't try that at home, okay? I don't want you turning pink by eating too much shrimp and algae. Is that even possible for humans? I don't know. That's why we have Google. Go figure it out for yourself. <laughs> All right, four more questions remain. This is where things get a lot more difficult. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize in advance. You might hate me, but that's your prerogative. <laughs> Here we go. Which Australian animal has venomous spurs on its ankles? Koala, echidna, kangaroo, platypus. Drum roll, please. But not really, because we would have to pay for that. Platypus. Platypus. That crazy creature from down under, they actually have venomous spurs in their, on their legs. Now, this venom is not potent enough to kill humans, but if it does, I guess, sting you, it will hurt a lot. Uh, and the venom is actually powerful enough to kill small animals. So yeah, they are fascinating creatures, but they are a little bit dangerous. Another fun fact for you, because I just, I, I knew you wanted more. Echidnas and platypus, they are the only two remaining animals of monotremes. Now, what is a monotreme? It's actually a, a small order of mammals. And what's special about this group, they are mammals that lay eggs. That's right, they're egg-laying mammals. Pretty crazy, but it's Australia, so I would expect nothing less. But now let's move on to question number eight. On which body part do butterflies have taste sensors? Eyes, wings, feet, or umbilicates? The correct answer is surprisingly feet. That's right. They have a form of taste buds on the bottom of their feet. So a butterfly is flapping its wings, going around and laying on you know, leaves and flowers. It's able to sense whether or not it wants to consume that plant or the nectar because of these incredible sensors on their feet. Now maybe you picked umbilicus because you didn't know what that word meant. A smart guess, you'd still be wrong, but umbilicus is actually a belly button. It is the technical term for the navel. And uh, insects do not have these, only mammals do. So, you learned something new today. At least, I hope you did. All right, two more questions for you. Here we go. Which of these land animals has the fastest top speed? Rhino, giraffe, zebra, or African elephant? Zebra. Black and white and red all over. Wait, that's probably some joke. No, just black and white. Those beloved horse-like creatures from Africa, 
they are incredibly fast running at top speeds of over 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour. The slowest of those four animals I just listed, the elephant. 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. Now all these animals actually pale in comparison to the cheetah, but that's probably a trivia question for another time. All right, folks, we've done nine. We have one more to go. If you are seen at nine out of nine correct, First off, pat yourself on the back because that's an amazing feat. But this one could throw you for a loop. Here we go. Which of the following is not a name for a group of penguins? Waddle, flap, colony, raft. The correct answer here, flap. Flap does not describe a group of penguins. That is the sound of their wings, all right? Now, you're probably curious why there's so many names for groups of penguins. Well, a waddle is, is when you call it a group of penguins that are on land that are on the move. So they're walking around, they're waddling, you know, they're doing the penguin dance. That is a waddle. A colony is when a bunch of penguins get together for mating season. Yeah, exciting stuff. And a raft is when penguins are in groups in the water. So I did not know that before I did this trivia. It's kind of a, a fascinating bit of trivia. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a lot from today's episode. Hopefully you had fun. As you can see on the scorecard on the screen right now, if you got zero, you are a Zippo Hippo. If you scored one through three, you are the Sad Shrimp. Four or five, you're about average, you're the common camel. Six or seven, a successful shark. Eight through nine, you are the legendary lion. Outstanding work. But there's one better. If you scored perfectly, you got 10 out of 10. You are a unicorn, you are rare, you receive the perfect uni. So awesome job, everyone. I'm so happy you competed with us. Whatever animal you got, please let us know in the comment section below. There are emojis for all those animals, whether you're on iPhone or Android or on your computer. So please let us know. Also let us know if you think the questions were too easy, too hard, or just about right. Welcome to Now You Pick. I am Kyle and I have something extra, extra special for you. <laughs> and we are off. Welcome to Now You Pick. I am Kyle, and we have something extra, extra. Water boy. Welcome. <laughs> Line trivia. More specifically, animal trivia. That's right, those furry friends that I don't, are always. <laughs> Uh, trivia? Yeah, you know what it is. We've all done trivia before. At school, at the bar, at blank, blank, blank. You know what? I know. <laughs> well, how, come, how come none of these is the same? <laughs> Hello! I didn't see you there. But I guess that's the beauty of television. Excuse me? Do not interrupt my takes. Sometimes we eat them, sometimes they eat us, but they are fascinating. So we have 10 questions for you all about animals. <laughs> Stop laughing. That was good. Oh. <laughs> all right. Pretty good. That was a good run. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so close to eating pizza. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really do appreciate it. If you are not a subscriber already to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. Now somewhere over here, we have our most recent video and another video we think you'll like. Which video will you watch next? Now you pick.